Hello, my name is Daniel, and today we will go over how to create e-gift cards. Within your gift card suite dashboard, on the left navigation you will see gift cards. Select gift cards. From the gift cards in the side navigation, go down to create new gift card and select it. On this page, you will fill out the form which will create your e-gift card. It is extremely simple to do and we will go over it right now. The first step is to name your e-gift card. We will call it Happy Birthday because birthdays take place 365 days out of the year. The next step is deciding on the gift card type. You have two different types, a monetary amount which is based off of a dollar amount like 25, 50, or $100, or a specific item. A specific item would be something along the lines, say you owned a massage therapy spa, and you wanted to offer a 90 minute massage therapy session. You would use a specific item in that situation. In most cases, customers are going to choose a monetary amount, so we are going to continue with the monetary amount for this tutorial. The next question is, do you want to allow customers to enter their own amount? This means you are giving them options that are more than just the $25, $50, and $100 amount. So say a customer wants to be able to offer $30, then you can allow them to do that by simply selecting yes. We recommend doing this because it gives more options to the customers, which is always a great idea. The next step is to show the amount on the gift card, whether it be $25, $50, $100, or whatever the customer decides to pay. So in this case, we're going to do yes. The next step says, where should the gift card amount show? Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. This is going to appear on the e-gift card. For this one, we are going to do top right, and you'll see later how this shows appears on the gift card. Choose your gift card amounts. As we mentioned before, by allowing customers to enter their own amount, they can do that, but it's also good to give customers options. So we are going to add $75 as an option in addition to the $25, $50, and $100. Later on you'll see how this plays a role. So now they have four options in addition to adding their own amounts. Now the next step is choosing your gift card design and this is very relevant to the name of the gift card. In this case we did happy birthday as the name of the gift card. So we could either upload our own design by simply clicking this blue button or easily dragging and dropping a file. Being that there's a gallery of already made gift card templates we are going to simply select happy birthday. And this is the preview of your gift card. And as you can see, we're showing the amount of the gift card in the top right corner. And this is just a preview. We're going to show you how it looks in the actual gift card shop next. So the final step for this would be to save. Congratulations, you have created an e-gift card. So now let's take a look at what the e-gift card actually looks like. So you're going to view your store. And we have just created this e-gift card the happy birthday and the amount. So you select it and as we spoke about before right here you can see the gift card amounts being displayed in the top right. You could either choose 50 and you can see it changes or 100 or 100 and as we spoke about before say I want to add a custom amount of 30 you can see it changes it to 30. And on this page it's very simple for customers to fill out the delivery information, the billing information, payment information, and then placing the order which is going to send it to the recipient. But as far as creating an e-gift card, we have successfully co covered it in this tutorial. And we hope that you have gained a lot of value out of this tutorial. And if you have any questions, you could always contact us at hello at giftcardsuite.com.